Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. Today we'll be learning on merging two singly linked list. This is a very simple process but before knowing the steps or before jumping onto the coding part let us just understand the concept behind it. So in this slide we can see two diagrams here. This is one single linked list this is another singly linked list. The nodes are 1, 2, 3 and here the nodes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now if we want to merge both of these singly linked list, we will get the linked list as 1, 2, 3, then again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will look like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is the main aim uh, of merging the two linked lists. So now let us have a look on the steps. So the first thing we need to do, we have to choose one first linked list, another as the second linked list. So first, we have to traverse the first linked list to reach the end of the node. Then, after we reach the end node of the first linked list, we have to change the pointer field of that node. What we simply need to do is we want to make that end node of the first linked list to point to the head node of the second linked list. So some link changing will be done there. And finally, we will get the merged linked list by traversing. So it all sounds very simple. So let's jump onto the coding part and let's see how we can implement it. Okay, so I have opened my IDE here and I have already done some part of the coding. Like I have already written this piece of codes in some previous videos. So I have this function already ready for me, traverse list and create single node. Now, as we need two singly linked list here, what I have done, I have created two head nodes and I have decided to make each of these singly linked list consist of three different nodes. So I have taken four extra nodes. Now let us just create first the singly linked list using that create single node function. So let us just print it. Creating first link list. Enter data. And now first the head of the first link list that is head one, we will use the create single node. And here a value will be going. And before that we have to take the value from the user. So ampersand value. So this is it. Now we will create the second node. So one second will be this simple function again. So this and again we have to ask the user for the value of the node. So I'll just copy and paste it. And I have to make a link here. So head one next will be one second now again the same things will be done let me do this yes okay and again I'll be copying and pasting it this time this will be third and this time this will be one second next is equal to one third. So at this part we are done with the creation of first link list. Now creating second link list. Same things will be repeated. So we'll simply copy the whole thing actually and some mere changes will be there so firstly this will be head 
two then this will be two second and the head two next two second two third and two second will be two third so we are done with the creation of whole of uh, both the link cut so we are done with the creation of both the linked list we would also need to traverse it so before creating the second link list let us say traversing the first link list and what we'll do we'll simply use this function here will pass the head one and yeah so that is it and we will do the same thing that is we will also traverse the second link list so this will be here and this will be two so let's just run this program once okay so creating the first link list let's just go full screen so one two three now we will create the second so four five six so we have these two link lists one two three and four five six now at this point let's just get rid of this amount of spaces so now what we'll do is merge both of the link list so we will use a function merge ll and we will pass both of the head nodes of the two link lists right and we'll again have to traverse it so i'll return to the head one as we have taken head one as the head node of the first link list so this will do and let me just write this line of code here because we will be needing it we'll be traversing it again but this time this will be one so what we're going to do is in this function merge ll we'll be passing these two head nodes of both of the link list we will do the merging part here and the returned link list will have head one as its head node because head one happens to be the head node of the first link list so let's just create the function and define it so here we will do this the return type will be struct node star this is the function name and again struct node star let me just copy this and yeah now let us just define so this is for sure that we'll be returning the head one so let me just do that first now we have to traverse the first link list so what we'll be doing is we'll be traversing the first link list so that is why we are creating a demo node here for the head one so now while demo next not equal to null now i have taken the condition as demo next not equals to null instead of demo not equals to null because i'll be needing that last note i have to have the access to that last note so i'll be simply doing demo equal to demo next so now at this point we have reached the last node of the first link list now we will make this last node to point to head 
2 how to do that simple demo next is equal to head 2 and this is the drill so nothing complicated we have already written this line of code here so now let's run it okay so again we'll be entering data 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay let me just uh, add some lines otherwise this is pretty hard to comprehend so uh, the merged linked list is now this should look better again we'll be running it one two three and then four five and six and there you can see the result the merged link list is one two three four five six so this is how you can merge two singly linked list thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time